So let's go through this one. Um, so let's say we have course and faculty. We're gonna start. You want to start with one instant of, of, of two of them to get the third. So we're going to start with course and faculty to get the multiplicity values for textbooks. So we have a course and we have a faculty member. Um, and a, a faculty member is teaching a course and they're using, they could use zero or more textbooks. Sometimes I don't use a textbook depending on the course and sometimes you can use two textbooks depending on the course. So we'll say zero or more. So a faculty and the core, one faculty member in one course can use zero or more textbooks. All right, now we're going to do it. Let's do it this way. We have a, a textbook. Um, and a faculty. So one textbook and one faculty member. And you can use it for one or more one or more courses. So if you have um, this textbook, um, a faculty member has a textbook and they can use it. Maybe they're using the same book for multiple courses. So we'll say one or one or more. A textbook for a faculty can be one or more courses. And then the third instance, let's um, which one are we up to? We have course and textbook. So a textbook, one textbook and one course. So a textbook is used um, in a course and by how many faculty members? So this specific textbook in this specific course, um, you can have one or more faculty who are using this textbook in this course. So the way to do it is kind of like um, look at two together group them together to get the third one and what you think the value is now this is only ternary because we know they all are go together if they were binary it would be easier but for ternary we have to put them in pairs and try to do one instance of each so we have a faculty member and a course and they could be using zero or more textbooks we have a textbook and a faculty member um and that could be in one or more courses and then we have maybe even zero or more you might be able to argue maybe but then then we have um textbook and courses and a textbook in a course um can be used by one or more faculty members, this textbook in this course. Um, it's not, uh, you know, when, when we have cases like where I'm not the only one who uses this textbook in this class, you know. So, so this is the easiest way. I know it's not easy, but this is the easiest way to try to picture the ternary when you know there's three entities that are all related to each other try to break them separately in order to be able to put the multiplicity values. If you think along those lines, um, it kind of breaks the problem into smaller components, which makes it easier to solve. I want to add one more thing. Um, uh, relationships often become tables, particularly in this ternary case, teach will become a table and in this table, you'll have the primary key from course, the primary key from textbook, and the primary key from faculty. So the ternary relationship always becomes a table later, which has the primary keys from the other three um, entities 